So on Friday, you and I got tattooed for the second time together. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Second time for me, millionth time for you. This is my eighth tattoo. And you now have a whole bunch of tattoos. I got one on my foot. And you got quite a few. What did you get? It's like little ones. Some um, little constellations. Uh, Libra, Virgo, Pisces. Big Dipper, Little Dipper. Um, in red ink. It's like smaller. Like you have bigger pieces than I do. Like your pieces are like... Hand. Size of a hand, roughly. In different shapes, but this much. And my pieces are like two fingers, the shape of two fingers, pretty much. Yeah. So, I have like more little, I don't know, I don't even know if it's more little ones, it's just caught up to, because you have all those little um, hats from Big Trouble in Little China. Yeah. So, I feel like you still have more. Yeah, but yours are... We have different kinds of tattoos. Yours are smaller and more intricate. Yours focuses a lot on line work, and you've chosen to do red and black ink. Mine are more colorful. Mine are more blunt, I would say. Statement pieces. Statement pieces. And yours are more personal. They're for you. Most of them are towards the inside of your arm, so they are, you know... So you can see them more than anyone else. And they all have a lot of personal meaning. Some of mine have personal meaning, but most of yours do. I think all of yours have personal meaning as well, actually. Because... Well, except for maybe the Dali pieces. Salvador Dali pieces. Um, They're personal because he's my favorite artist. I'm not sure about that. Or maybe they're just... It does have a meaning because it is your personal artist, but when when I think of personal, when it comes to tattoos, it makes me feel like you have a special connection to that particular piece, mm -hmm. or that particular thing means a lot to you. Like, say you got a picture of a bridge with a troll underneath it. On your back, and you got it because like a tramp stamp. No, nah, like up on the shoulders. That I don't even really consider tramp stamps as a thing when I'm really talking about tattoos. Like you could have one, whatever, but it's not a default setting for me. Mm -hmm. So, actually, the main thing with tramp stamps is that aesthetically, it usually doesn't look good by itself. Yeah. That's that's the main problem. I don't really give a shit about the placement, but aesthetically, like your body plus what it is plus nothing else. You know what I mean? Because yeah. um, especially on your back, like your back goes mostly for the most part curvy guy or girl for the most part, or you know the bigger your body frame is. Curves outwards, but it's still a curve at the end of the day. Like, it's hard to have someone have, like, a f straight rectangle. Mm -hmm. And then the skin is usually the same tone on the back. And then when you get down to the butt, you get a lot of contrast at the cheeks and the butt crack and everything. Mm -hmm. So the contrast of those lines at your butt and the weight... The visual dark weight of the tattoo close to that just draws the eye straight down to all that, all those dark lines down there. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing to balance the top of it. So that's why aesthetically I don't like trap steps. But I don't give a shit what you got as an actual tattoo, but... That's the breakdown of what happens in my mind. 
Okay. Alright. Anything? Nope. Just back down. Nope. Not, nothing interesting to pull my eyes up. Mm -hmm. Just back down. So. It's like a dead zone. It's like a black hole for your eyes. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. So. It's. Whatever. So, um. A lot of pieces for me. I don't really care about high visibility for like other people being able to see them at a distance. Mm -hmm. It's just more things that I've been thinking about for years and means a lot more to me personally. So it's like, all right, you know, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Um, I think about where I'd want it, why it would be there, and what it would do for me long term, and then go from there, make a decision, stalk a bunch of tattoo artists online and Instagram and see how good their work is and their consistency, and their consistency about putting up their work, which talks a lot more about their work ethic than their artistry because artistry and work ethic together mean a lot more mm -hmm. in terms of me being able to trust you so i we could have not have met personally before but i could trust you because i see you consistently putting up something so that's does that answer your question yes it does